Hello guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to do some more Epic 7 Guild War content. So hopefully the fights go well. We don't necessarily lose all of our units for stupid reasons. And you know, it just is good, hopefully. So enjoy the video. And here we go. Welcome back to Guild War. Happy holidays, Merry Christmas, all that type of stuff. Um, our gift for today is to fight Candescent. And they are level 17, so we might be okay, but we'll find out. Uh, they are rank 156. We are rank 154. I am inting because I want to, I guess. So we're going to hit this tower and see how bad it goes. So, I mentioned earlier that I haven't used Singelica in a while. So we're going to use Singelica for at least this fight. Whether or not we use it for the rest of the war, I don't know. But we're going to use it for this fight. So, we're going to run Singelica. We're going to run Edda, because I want to run Edda and I've not used her in a while, so I just feel like using her. Um, we're not changing to attack on Angelica, and we're leaving Edda on this setup. So she's still got some effectiveness, some attack, a decent amount of damage, I guess. She's slow, but the idea is that we're going to get pushed forwards by Angelica. Um, can I upgrade these real quick? She's going to get pushed by Angelica's skill 3 because it's a non-combat skill. I can then get a little bit on this, but that's fine. Um, I mean, I'll get the damage on that, though. Why not? Uh, take a turn, soul burn. Do the... Do the stuff. Uh, skill 3, stun them, and then hopefully we just win. And that's sort of the, the plan. And Mort is here as, like, backup. Mostly because I'm not sure if Edda can solo the the two tanks after we're done. Uh, and hopefully, Mort will counter-attack, because he has got Elvis Ritual Sword, right? Yeah. Elvis Ritual Sword, mediocre stats, I think. Like, I'm pretty sure he should be better than this by a long shot, but whatever. Um, and the idea is that he's just going to stand on them, give them a load of injury, and then hopefully we'll be able to just whittle them down and eventually win. And the bottom team, we're just going to go back to the whole Biblis setup. There is a a single unit on the other team that we can force counterattacks out of. So as long as she doesn't immediately kill us, we should be able to get Biblis to do her stuff into Lamia doing her, her stuff, into Rowana keeping us alive, into killing all of them and winning. But we'll see. If we win, it'll be a Christmas miracle, I suppose. We are not faster than them. That's not good. No, that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. That's not fine. No, that's fine. Because they can't activate the thing from that. That's not fine. Because I wanted the attack buff. It, wait, look. I know I'm saying it's not fine a lot, but like it is sort of okay. It just would have been better if uh, we didn't get that. But it's okay. Never mind, it's not fine. We need to stun Kaeron, or we are probably dead. We can't stun Kaeron because I'm blinded. Oh, we can stun Kaeron because I'm blinded, never mind. Ignore me. Kaeron did need to die, like, before this, though, but... And I did also want to stun the other two. I think we just lose this one because we got, like, a really weird rotation on the first thing. Yeah, he just missed that. Because she won't get stunned or anything because it's, like, a 300 resist Angelica, so we should be fine. That barrier is a bit too big, though. Uh, he's dead. I think we just lose, don't we? Yeah. That would have killed regardless. Because now he's immortal for a turn and there's nothing we can do about it. I'm honestly surprised that Ed is not getting, like, hard cooked. Yeah, we just, we yield. Never mind. Yeah, no, we lost that one because... We got a little bit unlucky, to be honest, but 
I was hoping the 100 something effectiveness would be enough to do more than it did, but it just didn't do anything, so that's unfortunate. There was much better solutions to that fight, but realistically, but I wanted to use... I did want to use Angelica anyway, to be honest. And like, Angelica Red is like one of the only things I could think of that would maybe be good. But I wasn't expecting the Bad Cat Armin to be like 260 speed. You never see her, so I don't know what speed people build her on, but I suppose she has got the the EE recently that makes her 10 speed faster. So I should probably expect, and Grass Angel put out a video of like a 309 speed Bad Cat Armin. I probably should expect more people to be running her at like 280 plus at this point just because Grass Angel did it and because her like equipment gives her the ability to sort of push to that type of speed I guess. But whatever. One down, two to go. Second fight. We're going to hit this tower before it melts because I've spent like 20 minutes building a team for it. So top team. Celine is basically uh, basically going to full solo it. So we're going to run Fight Amaya as prevention for Kekwick, Celine, because as long as Kekwick gets to take a turn, Celine will kill both of these, and Holiday Yuffie, because Celine should solo, so I'm just bringing whatever. And Holiday Yuffie, if she does get hit by, like, Sigrid at least. Um, oh, the enemy Yuffie. I'm hoping it'd be the enemy Yuffie, honestly. Uh, we should be okay. Worst case scenario is that Celine gets sniped by Yuffie before Kekwick moves, and then we just lose. And if that happens, then we're we're just dead. That's it. Um, yeah, that might happen, but whatever. And bottom team, we're gonna run Angelica again because Angelica. We're gonna run Edda again because we gave her gear to run her, so might as well. And we're gonna run Sid. And the idea is that. Angelica is going to hopefully take turn one. It's going to push Edda forwards. And she'll either take a turn before Sid or just after Sid. We can skill three, stun them all. Sid can kill Rem, kill Arby, and then we just slowly will the Rast down and win. Ideally. I am very much not playing seriously today. Like. Yuffie went first? Really? Um, I guess we just do this. Who cares, right? Then we kill the Yuffie because she's the only thing that's likely to kill us. Because Kekwik will do this. It was taking a turn anyway when he says fine. Okay, quick, we'll do this, then we'll kill Sigrid with it. And then Maya can just bonk him. Bonk. Bonk. Sigurd Scythe? What? It, 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 uh? Um... Sigurd Scythe? Okay. Yeah, we don't sell Ben here because we save it for Sid. We do this and try and get the stun on Rem and Vildred. Ideally just Rem, honestly. Of fucking course. Kiss my ass. Kill the Rem so she can't revive, kill the Vildred so he can't revive. And then Ras is basically helpless at this point. Kill the Ras so he can't revive. Miss? Ah, oh, I started of hoping Edda could get him, but never mind her. Yeah, see? Angelica can still work. I just have to not be bad. Who would have guessed? Two down, one to go. Final fight. We're going to hit this tower because we can. So, top team is going to be Angelica again because Angelica. Um, Sid again because Sid. And... Uh, Summer Charlotte because I want to use Summer Charlotte. She's cool. I, I want to use her more, honestly. She's like really fun, but 
I just never get a chance to throw her into any situations now. Um, but yeah, idea is that we have to go first, and if we go second, hopefully, hopefully we go second from her at worst. But ideally, we go first with these two and can just like kill everything and not care. But if we go second, ideally, because I can't remember how this works, we remove the silence that she puts on us with Angelica. And then Sid can skill free her, kill her, skill one her, kill her, bring Charlotte forwards and we win, right? And the bottom team is going to be a blaster in the past because he's using old units, so I'm using oldish units. We're going to bring Flan for Soulburn because of Edda. Unless they all have immunity, then we're just going to Soulburn with Edda instead. Um, to push them back, then push Edda forwards. Get loads of push with... Isaria as well, and some bombs, and win. Simple, really. The Angelica is slow as balls. How fast is Sid? And I can't see her. But I'm pretty sure she's slow as balls. Yeah. Right, kill her. If she's in the wrong spot. Kill her, because she exists. Yeah! Yeah, Charlotte. You did it. Look at that. Right. So I'll ban this, push them all back, get some uh, defense breaks. Thank you. Push Edda. Get more, more push. So, for anyone that's not aware what just happened here as well, just in, yeah, not that it's important, but we just pushed 40% through absolute zero, and then another 50% with Data Monopoly. So, even if this Edda was negative speed, like, if this Edda was Rowana, she would basically be taking this turn anyway. So, that's how broken this potential combo is. It's old though, so it's not really worth running anymore, but like... There's just much better units that power creep this type of shit out. But, it is funny to think that Edda just moved like 90% in free skills. And there's not really much the enemy team can do about it other than run Politus or... Dark Yuffie, I guess. But yeah, that's it for the Christmas edition of Guild War. There's not really much different about it being Christmas other than I got the gift of playing with units that were old and different. And I guess you guys got the gift of me not playing Abigail Benimaru for three fights in a row. So, nostalgia Guild War, I guess. Edda and Angelica. There you go. That'll do. But yeah, hope you all enjoyed the video. We'll be back for regular Guild War on Wednesday, unless Wednesday is another different day, which I don't think it is. Um, we don't get New Year's Guild War. We get New Year's Day Guild War in a week, so we get Christmas Guild War today, and next week it's the first Guild War of the year, so that's cool. But yeah, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll be back for the Wednesday Guild War whenever that gets uploaded. So, hopefully we can do stuff with that, I guess. And Lydica on Friday, I think. Maybe. I'm pretty sure Lydica's on Friday. But yeah, anyway, thanks for watching the video, and I will see you in the next Guild War.